Hello everyone, this is Chantelle and today I am going to tackle this right here behind me. I still have some eggplant and uh, some peppers and some tomatillos and I'm going to be harvesting whatever I can from them. There's still some fennel in there also under all this and so I'm going to harvest whatever I can from all of these and I'm going to pull the plants out because I think that we might be getting uh, snow soon because right now it is what November November 8th um, it is about what time is it right now it's late in the afternoon right now so I gotta do whatever I can my I had lofty plans for today but you know uh, today was a busy day <laughs> so uh, I'll see what I can do with uh, maybe the hour or two that I have we'll see what I can do I also have my toddler with me so that's gonna make things a little bit more difficult and so let's go ahead let me show you what's under these frost covers yes, I put this over here because I didn't want the wind to blow the frost cover off because yesterday afternoon when I came out here I saw that the frost cover was blown and uh, the plants were uncovered so I had to put something over them because I took the rocks and I used them somewhere else so uh, that's why I have this here and I my plan was to plant this raspberry today also we'll see if I can get to it let's first get to these look at that we had several nights of frost and these plants are doing amazing underneath underneath this cover and it was also hard frost not just any frost The borage is loving, loving this place. Look at it. Oh my goodness, it is doing amazing. And as I suspected, the plants that were touching the uh, cover at the top and the places where they were touching, they got damage on them, like this over here. But these are still usable. I think I forgot to get my pruners with me. I'm going to need to go get them. So I was thinking, uh, my mom actually, actually was talking to me about this. She was telling me I should roast these and freeze them to use in baba ganoush and I think I'm going to be doing that. If I have some small ones, I'll do some uh, pickled uh, eggplants the uh, Lebanese way with some walnuts and uh, olive oil and it's really good. It's one of my favorite things. <laughs> so uh, let me take all the frost cover out of here and go get my pruners and get going on this. The frost cover is off and let's see what we have. So we have some peppers that are sort of sort of okay. These are some banana peppers. You know of course the tips that were touching the covers got damaged and so that was gonna affect the plant. But I can see some of these uh, little snacking peppers over there. The borage or borage is loving this loving this weather in here <laughs> under the frost cover. And look at all the flowers. Too bad the bees couldn't get to it. And if I uh I don't know if borage is frost hardy or not, but it seems to like the temperature inside the frost cover. I mean look at it. I've also seen some people use borage in uh, salads, but I don't know, I've never tried it before, um, maybe next year. And you could also supposedly eat the flowers and they're, they, they're supposed to taste like cucumber. Um, hmm. I don't know. 
I don't I don't want to try it out right now. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> they do smell like cucumber. I see some spicy peppers over there. I forgot what are they? Pimento, I think so. And look at the eggplants. I think if I go from the other side, look at this. So many. So many. I'll go around the other side. Also, there are some tomatillos that are available over here. Some of them drop on the ground, but no big deal. The ones that I harvested earlier, they all had bite damage on the inside, and I wasn't really spraying, so um, I lost most of them. But look at this. Can you believe this? This is November 8th, and we have all these eggplants, which are a warm season vegetable that are growing and producing here in zone 5 in November. I mean, I'm freezing. My fingers are freezing. My fingers are freezing. My fingers are freezing and um, all the leaves have fallen off the trees and most plants are dead except for the frost hardy ones and these warm weather plants are still rocking it so if you guys want to extend your season this is a great way to extend it um, of course it's not going to handle the snow but you saw I mean we're gonna be harvesting and we're gonna see how much we're gonna get out of it uh, but uh, if you just want to extend it just until, you know, like uh, right before snowfall, you could do that and you would still get tons of produce out of it. I wasn't even watering that often, maybe I watered once or twice just because it kept raining and because the uh, I, I watered once and I forgot the water on for like several hours. Oops. <laughs> but uh, hey, I mean everything is doing great the cabbage is starting to head up so I'm gonna now put the frost cover on the cabbage instead because uh, the cabbage cannot handle really high temperature I mean really low temperatures so the frost cover would help them to stay warm in there until they can produce some heads for us they don't have to grow super big but at least just big enough for me to um, use them so let me go take you along take you over there to show you before we start harvesting this oh I also forgot about the broccoli I don't know if the broccoli is gonna do anything looks like it's just about to start to make heads but uh, I don't know and this uh, spinach over here planted itself again we are not yeah I don't know if it's gonna do anything we'll see and I have some over here I have some volunteer garlic and this is the cabbage of course they do have the bug damage on them from the cabbage moth but you can start seeing they're just starting to create their heads right now it took them a long time to do that uh, I'm not sure why we'll see. I'll try to keep watering them and I'll cover them to protect them from super hard frost see how uh, they do and here is just a quick update on the garlic you can start seeing they are sprouting a little bit coming out of the ground I see this one right there that over there and a few of them if I get close you can see them see that there they are oh that's actually the curly dock came back again that one right there <laughs> so the garlic okay. is ready for next season uh, you're okay sweetie yeah. and now we're gonna start harvesting you want to help me harvest yeah. oh I forgot I need to get my pruners first
most of this, most of it I think was two plants, was it? I think so. Because I got them from this one and from this one over here. I guess okay, three plants. This one I got only a little bit from it. doing? Is that your nose? I'm doing this. <laughs> Are you Pinocchio? <laughs> uh oh. Are you eating it? <laughs> You're so cute. Look at all the eggplants that we got. Yeah, Some of them that are running away over here. That is just amazing. I mean, this is, again, this is November 8th and in, we are in zone Ow. 5. Are they prickly? Yes. This is amazing. I could do so much with these. I could make another stuffed eggplant dish. I could make baba ganoush. Please stop throwing them, sweetie. You're going to break them, okay? <laughs> Look what she's doing. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so yeah I could do so much with these I, don't, I mean I will I don't know if I'll make it pickled eggplants but uh, maybe with the really small ones that's what I'll, what I'll do I'll make just like a little a little jar uh, but I think uh, I'll be able to do yeah I'll be able to do some baba ganoush and uh, some stuffed eggplants from these. Mama. That is really exciting. Mama. Yes, sweetie. Are you done? No, we still have a lot to do over here. Do you want to go inside with me? No, you. No, I have to work over here. Please. You want to help me get the peppers too? Let's go get some peppers. Okay? Yeah, we have to harvest them before tonight. Otherwise they'll die. Why? Because it's going to get really cold. And just to let you know guys, last night the phone no. said it was uh, 27 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't believe so. I believe it was even colder than that because my phone is always, my phone is always wrong. So I think it was more like 23 or 25. 
because it's always off. Sometimes it's even off by like eight degrees. It's insane. Uh, or more than that. I'm done. <laughs> okay, we have to harvest everything and take it inside, okay? Okay. Uh, I gotta hurry up. She's she's getting antsy. So she's starting to get really antsy. I think what I'm going to do instead is just harvest the peppers, the tomatillos, and some fennel. And I'm just gonna go inside. I don't want to pull anything out. I'll, I can do that on a different day because uh, I think she just she wants to be inside, but she wants to be with me. So, and no one on earth can please her right now except Mama. <laughs> uh, so I gotta hurry because it's cold. It's are a little bit so that I can hurry up and do my thing. All right, gotta keep harvesting and uh, get these things inside. My hands are freezing so I have to put on some gloves. I don't have to worry about breaking the peppers now. <laughs> so I could just harvest them like this. I can't believe I'm harvesting peppers in November. This is crazy. <laughs> I have to face this side. Can you believe I'm harvesting this stuff in November? <laughs> oh, you 
just crushed the tomato with your boot. Uh oh, that's okay. This is so addicting. It smells so good. It's not a weed, it's a fennel. <laughs> so I'm gonna be taking this fennel and freeze drying it to preserve it for the winter. That's a lot of fennel. I won't be using all this fennel this year, but um, I will have enough fennel to last maybe for two or three years and I can give some of it away if I want to, uh, which I probably will <laughs> to whoever likes fennel. Um, I don't like dill, so that's why I plant this channel. Back where I grew up, actually, we used to take fennel and we would um, put it in omelets, and that was one of the best things ever. <laughs> But I'm kind of hoping that this fennel would continue to grow uh, a little bit uh, because I noticed this, that the fennel on the opposite side of me is still uh, growing slowly, not, not super fast. Uh, so, I mean, this one though, I cut all the green off of it. And this would probably taste good if I just chop it up and take it. So I'll leave these two and I'll cut this one up. There. I forgot what I was saying, I got distracted. <laughs> it's not going to continue to grow in the winter. Um, no, but it may come back, you think? I don't think so. I don't think that fennel is a perennial for us over here. Um, is it worth the test? It is a perennial in warmer zones, I think. Like where I grew up, it would, uh, it would be more like a bush where I grew up. Uh, when over here it's you know you plant every, you plant it every year. Yes, it is worth a test. I think so just with you over here is. I mean, if it doesn't grow in the spring, we can just uproot it then. Yeah. Oh, it smells so good. You guys should be next to this fennel. <laughs> it smells amazing. Did this fennel go to seed yet? No. I planted it too late for it to go to seed. Okay. Maybe next year we can plant it early enough where it can go to seed. Yeah. And harvest some seeds from it. I mean, I saw a bloom stalk on it, but it didn't go to bloom yet. Sorry, Serenity is really loud. What are you saying? So I, I did see a bloom stalk on it, but it did not bloom yet. Okay. So. Maybe about like two weeks earlier, maybe? Yeah. Maybe, maybe a month earlier, if you can. Uh, when did you plant it? I don't remember exactly. Okay guys, this is amazing. It is insane. Look at it. We got the fennel over here, tomatillos, peppers, and eggplants. In November 8th, zone five. Can you guys believe that? <laughs> this is insane. So I tried this method in the spring last year and I think and this year also and I thought you know what I'm gonna give it a try in the fall and see if it's gonna work out it's gonna extend it if it's going to extend the season for me it does in the spring why not in the fall I could have kept this going if I wanted to 
but I had to stop somewhere because we don't know when it is going to snow and I have a feeling it's gonna snow probably pretty soon maybe in about a week or two from now I mean it's getting down to 27 according to the phone 27 degrees I think it's a lot colder than that at night uh, because again like I said my phone app is not accurate it's usually colder than what it says and I've spoken to some of our friends and they uh, some of them do not have frost in the areas where they are even though they're so the town that they're in is I think slightly higher in elevation but they're kind of uh, in a location where they're protected from the frost so I think where we are over here our house specifically uh, gets frost earlier than maybe someone else in the town because uh, it's even if your town does may not get frost at a certain time you might get it earlier than others because of the way how your land is uh, you know because so be to help you yeah uh, wind chill so if you're yeah. in a piece of land that has a breeze okay yeah if you want if, <laughs> if you're in a piece of land that has a breeze you have a wind chill factor on your property so different houses may be sheltered between hills and they may not get a wind chill um, so you can have frost on your property and down the road they may not. Or even your neighbor might not have. Uh, it, it all kind of depends on how it. the yeah. wind blows through your neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, that's why we get early frost over here. And, uh, hey, we were able to extend our season for us until up until November 8th in Zone 5. And I could have, again, I could have extended it longer if I wanted to. And if you want, you could even double and triple layer your frost covers uh, to protect your plants a little bit more. But keep in mind that these frost covers will not be able to handle the snow because the snow will um, will bend them unless you have kind of a structure that is a sturdy structure and you're able to uh, tighten up your frost covers. But I th even then I think that the snow would kind of weigh on them because they're... Yeah. They're an absorbent material. They're not. Once um, there's snow, once there's snow, your frost covers should shouldn't be what's holding the snow up. Yeah, I think you could probably what you could probably do is uh, you could put a um, what's it called a plastic cover over them, and then and on the inside you could put frost covers because the frost covers are actually warmer than the plastic covers. Okay, but I I think that. The, the strong structure you have, like if you look at this, these hoops, imagine these hoops are rigid, right? There's an empty space here. So if you put a regular cover in, I don't care how strong the cover is, the, the snow is going to collapse it. It's going to rip the cover. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to be putting some kind of something rigid, you're going to want something where the snow would slide off. It has to be an A-frame, I think, an right? A-frame or an arc, right? But also you, you may want to put chicken wire or uh, you know, ca cow, uh, like the cattle fencing the cattle that we have, that over, we have there. over there. Yeah. Uh, something rigid, and then you put the covers on it, and then it can withstand the snow. But if it, if it's flat, it's going to get crushed. Yeah. And I think that's why we are not going to be doing that this year because we don't have a structure that can handle this. Um, you know, supporting the snow <laughs> and allowing the snow to slide off of it. Right. Yeah. So. You guys saw all this harvest, zone five, New Hampshire, November. This is November 8th. I mean, that's insane. <laughs> you can do this. <laughs> so I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to receive notifications of whenever I upload new videos. And uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. This will help uh, YouTube uh, kind of push our videos up so that more people can find them. And I wanna thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye. Oh, before I leave, I'll leave a video for you guys right here to watch of when I planted this bed over here. Airplane. It's getting louder. It's really slow. Oh well. <laughs> and some, what's that plant called?